For those of you who don't know who I am, I'm called Father Joe and I'm the priest at St Mary's here in Hadley. I sometimes come into the schools to take assemblies and tell, I usually tell stories, so I thought what I'd do is to tell you a story, if I may. It might be one you already know, and in which case, I hope you'll enjoy it. Um, it's about somebody who had two watering cans. Sounds a strange story, really, but here I am in the garden, in this rather large house that I, I live in, because this is the deanery, and that's where the dean lives. The garden's a bit big, really, but hey, we have to cope with this. This is a story about two watering cans. This chap, a gardener, had two watering cans. One was a brand new one, the kind of thing you could find in the shelves of partridges. Really lovely, shiny, beautiful, and there it was, glorious. And when he filled it with water, he'd carry it all the way up to the top of the top of the path and pour the water all over the flowers. Alongside it, he had a second one. Now this was an old tired watering can the kind of one i've got actually has a few holes in it when you fill it up with water the water tends to seep out and he used to fill both the watering cans up and carry them up the path to the garden at the top and he'd very carefully water the flowers and make sure every single one got enough water and then he'd go back down the path to the bottom well the watering can the watering cans noticed that he'd fill them both up, but he would never use the water in the old watering can. When he got to the top, he'd pour out the, the new watering can with great abundance, water everywhere. The other one, the tired one, well, that one used to get filled up with water, and on the way, water would leak and drip the whole way up to the top of the path. And when he got to the top, it wouldn't be used. And so it'd be carried down the path again. By the time it got to the bottom of the path, all the water would have seeped out through the holes. This was something that really concerned the watering cans. The watering can, the old one, was really embarrassed and didn't know what to do. And one day, one day, the watering can said to the gardener, well, it's a story so watering cans can speak, said to the gardener, I don't know why you bother. I really don't know why you bother to fill me up. You fill me up every single time. You take me up to the top of the thing and you don't even use me on the garden. Then walk back down and by the time I reach the bottom, there's no water left. What on earth is going on? What on earth are you doing? Ah, the gardener says, you play a very important path, part. Just look down the garden path. And as the watering can turned to look, peering through the spout, you could see on either side of the path luscious, beautiful flowers, flowers springing up all over the place. And he said, this time when I carry you, watch where your water falls and you will see that on the way up the path, you water the right hand side and on the way down from the path, you water the left hand side. Both sides are watered from the very cracks that you think are so awful. I'd like you to remember, if you wouldn't mind, that sometimes when we don't think we're any use, sometimes when we don't think we have any special gifts or skills, we don't realise that we too are watering the world in which we walk. We're making it a beautiful place by our acts of kindness. So never feel useless, never feel as though you haven't got a place. Each one of us has a place to make the world beautiful. I hope that story cheers you up, along with the hooting outside and the sound of the birds in the garden. I look forward to seeing you again at some point soon. But in the meanwhile, I leave you with this story. I hope I can find some time to record some more. Take care. May God bless you.